No matter what day it is, Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I get up around six o'clock. I get up, get hydrated, I pray, and I thank God for another day, a new opportunity to do better than I did the day before. Next, seven to 8.30, I hit the gym and I start my boxing sessions. Now, I've been getting into boxing for the last four weeks. You would have seen some clips of me already. I'm still working on that technique, but it's getting better. I'm really excited to see where I am in a year's time from now with my boxing skills and my technique and also just general fitness. I feel so much fitter than I was four weeks ago. And yeah, it helps me be more productive throughout the day. I always hit the gym in the morning. If I don't do gym in the morning, I don't work out at all. Once I finish my session, I head to the office. I come here and I get straight to work. At nine o'clock, I've got my morning stand up where I update my team, what I'm working on, what I'm stuck on, if I need any help and do that sort of stuff. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a software engineer, cloud engineer, data engineer, you will have a morning stand-up. So for you guys watching who work in jobs, working as software engineer, in tech in general, you will know what a morning stand-up is. Very fun. As soon as I finish my stand-up, I get to work until lunchtime. Get my head down, do some work, and I'm gonna show you what I'm working on in just a second from a cloud engineer perspective. Around lunchtime, I go out, go for a walk, get some fresh air, get the body moving as you need to do because sitting at your desk is actually not very healthy, especially for long periods of time. So I'm getting in that exercise. And then when I come back from lunch, that is really it. So it doesn't matter what day it is, nine till six, essentially, I'm just working as a cloud engineer on my client projects. After work, I go home, I chill for a bit, and then I'm probably doing YouTube stuff or more client work. I don't really like to sit and watch TV unless I'm watching the F1 or I'm watching the UFC. And finally, 10 p.m., I hit the pillow, go to sleep, and F1. And I stick to this routine, and I stick to this routine every single day. It's really important to get into the habit of doing the same things over and over again. It's not glamorous, but it builds your discipline. And if you see the most successful people in the world, their day-to-day -day life isn't that glamorous. The day-to-day -day is never glamorous. Everyone is just doing the work. The process of getting somewhere and becoming successful 
is a bit ugly. There is, it's not a pretty sight, right? No one wants to see me just sat at my desk working away, but that is what I do 90% of my day. If you want to get started with the cloud and become a cloud engineer, then you should check out my cloud engineer handbook, where I provide you a structured way of learning and guiding you from going from zero to cloud engineer hero. In the handbook, I cover the fundamentals, the tools and the technologies to actually become a cloud engineer through videos, text and diagrams. Right now, it's at a 50% discount on pre-order, so make sure you check it out before the price doubles in just a few weeks' time. You can check out the link in my description below. I want this video to be a little bit more helpful than just showing you a day in a live vlog where I don't actually tell you what I'm actually working on. I think the majority of these day in a live vlogs aren't that helpful. They're not really showing you what projects they're actually working on. So I'm gonna show you what I'm working on and I'm gonna show you the issue that I'm having with this project. So yeah, let me give you guys a little bit of an insight. Okay, so I'm currently building a CI CD pipeline, but I'm having some problems with it. And as you've seen in my previous videos, that a cloud engineer does a lot of different things. He doesn't just do, you know, cloud engineering. I think cloud engineering is really broad. So we've got cloud engineering, but we look at, you know, CI CD pipelines, you know, infrastructure as code, security, you know, we also look at architecture. Uh, we also look at monitoring. You get the idea. So a cloud engineer's role is very broad. You do a lot of different things. And the thing that I'm doing at the moment as part of my project that I'm building is CI CD pipelines. And I'm gonna show you what I'm actually doing and the issue that I'm having. But first, I'm going to show you the CI CD design. For a CI CD pipeline, you build it to deploy it through different environments using automation. So the whole idea of a CI CD pipeline is to deploy code as fast as possible through a pipeline through different environments. So for example, your pipeline may start in your dev environment, then it gets pushed into QA, then it gets pushed into production. Obviously depending on the complexity and the size of your business, you may have a lot more environments, but let's imagine we've got three environments and let's just name them dev, QA, prod. And then what we have, we have a pipeline connecting these environments or accounts together. So the idea is I push my code, push my code into dev. I test my code here and then I say, okay, does it work? Yes. It works. So then I push the code through the pipeline into QA, do the same thing here, test my code. Does it work? Yes. Okay, great. Let me now deploy it into production. So that's like a very high level and quick view of what a pipeline does. It just deploys code through different environments to production. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. I'm building a pipeline that deploys code through multiple environments. And each one of these environments are isolated AWS accounts. This might get a little bit complex, but just stay with me. So what I've created is a separate account and I've called this CICD. And what I'm doing is I'm deploying a pipeline centrally in this account using code pipeline. And then I trigger a pipeline into dev through stages. So AWS code pipeline has something called stages and then you basically create a stage and well, let's call this stage dev and you deploy your code into dev. This is where the pipeline gets created and then you push it into this environment. It triggers CloudFormation, which is an infrastructure as code service. CloudFormation will then create the infrastructure that I'm pushing. Inf so this is me right here and I am pushing my infrastructure to GitHub. And then that triggers a GitHub Actions, and then that goes into AWS to my code pipeline. And then every time I basically push a new change, for example, I might make a new EC2 server. I push that into GitHub, then GitHub Action triggers my code pipeline. Then code pipeline looks at a code, deploys it to dev using CloudFormation, and then does it work? Yes, these gates, for example, from dev to QA, these can be manual or automated. For example, we could put a trigger in and say, once a CloudFormation stack has been created successfully, then go and trigger the QA. But for production, you typically want a manual gate because you don't want code to be deployed to production automatically without being verified in the previous environment. So you can create like a manual gate here. What's happening at the moment, the problem that I'm having, so between between these accounts, you have to create some IAM roles, which is basically permissions. I basically create a role here. This role gets attached to my CICD account, and it basically says my CICD account can deploy a CloudFormation stack 
in this dev account through the pipeline. So you do like an assume role, assume by this CI CD account, and then that can deploy it into here. But the problem that I'm having is I am pushing my code into the CI CD pipeline. For example, deploy this EC2 service. And I've created this role, but for some reason, this CI CD account cannot read this role that I've created. So what's happening is my EC2 server is getting deployed in this CI CD account, which is wrong. So what I need to do, I need to understand and debug why this role isn't being found by my pipeline in CI CD account. It needs to read that role because that role is created for my pipeline to assume and then deploy it into dev. But what's happening is code pipeline is deploying my EC2 in the CI CD account rather than my dev account. This whole pipeline, this is a very basic and simple version of it. What I've actually designed is a little, lot more complex, there's a lot more accounts and more stages, but this is called a multi-account CI CD pipeline. That's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Try and fix this so I can deploy some infrastructure in the dev account. Once it's working in there, I can push it into QA. All right, guys, I've managed to fix my pipeline. There was actually a permission issue with the role that my pipeline was assuming. So I fixed that, added the right permissions, and it's now working. I'm not gonna show you what I do after work because there's literally no point. It's just so boring. I'm going to do more of these day in the lives. This one, I focus on a CI CD pipeline. I gave you a little bit of a tour of what I do what I get up to in my office space. So let me know what you want the next one to be. It might be about AWS. It might be about DevOps in general. It might be about infrastructure as code. Maybe we'll build a cloud project together. So let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.